I got a new Tom and Shannon gears. So using a three arm puller, first I removed this key right here that goes to the harmonic balancer. Then I put the three arm puller on the old gear, kind of with the center shaft that goes up in here. And I pulled the old gear off. This is a new gear. It's got two rows of teeth. So I put some WD-40 on here and I slid the gear back onto this back key as far as it would go. And then using a bolt and a washer and a socket, I tightened the bolt up until it pulled this gear all the way back. Then I put this key back in the keyway here for the harmonic balancer. I made sure, well, I didn't have to make sure this key in this gear gave me my dot, Tom and dot standing straight up again like I had. So then I've been cleaning the surfaces, getting everything cleaned up, vacuumed out, ready to go. And I decided to stick my finger down here in this number one hole or number four exhaust port where the lifter wasn't moving and it felt kind of rough on one side like it was rusted or pitted or so I started feeling the other ones sticking my finger down in the other ones and they're all nice and smooth they're, they're real smooth but not the one where I had the lifter collapse. So I can't get much in there because the head's in the way to be in line. Um, what I was able to use was this little piece of barrel sander, holding it with my fingers and working it to knock out the rough spots. Then this metal wire bottle brush, I've been putting it in there and just working it and working it and working it. And I've gotten it smoothed out a lot. I'm much happier with it now. I can still feel a little bit down in the hole and I'm probably gonna work on it more because the camshaft won't be here for a couple of days. What else am I gonna do? So I'm gonna keep working on this hole until I get it real smooth inside. I got a new water pump since I'm here. Um, I painted it with some uh, high heat paint after I cleaned it up with uh, brake clean. <coughs> I sprayed it with some uh, Wrinkle Plus high temperature uh, wrinkle coating. It's in the oven baking at 200 degrees right now. I also did the, the timing cover. I cleaned it down with a wire wheel on a die grinder, cleaned it all up, um, sprayed it with the wrinkle seal, baked it in the oven for an hour, and then I put the new seal in it. So that's ready to go. My new timing chain looks a little different than my old one. Everything has two rows of teeth. Never seen that before, but that's cool. So that's where we are, cleaning it up, getting it ready to go. So I really need to clean up this port where this lifter goes. It's kind of rough inside, but there's nothing I can do to get to it because the head's in the way. I'm gonna to have to improvise. So I've got a piece of tape, a piece of scotch bright. I wanna wrap that scotch bright around this socket. That'll fit down in the hole pretty good. The only thing small enough to go through the head is this quarter inch extension, which is about the size of a push rod. So I'm gonna stick this through the head, snap the socket on and tape it because I don't wanna drop the socket down inside the block. Now that 
That sounded real easy, but it wasn't easy to put together. And I finally managed it. And I'm honing out that port with it looks good. Scotch Bright duct tape to a socket home worked really well. Polished the inside of that up nice. I'm not sure the source of the roughness in there, if it was rust or it couldn't have been scarring because it just wasn't that bad. And the Scotch Bright wouldn't have done such a good job if it would have been chewed up metal, you know. But it feels really nice now so I think that issue is solved there might be a little bit of debris down inside I'm sure there are a couple anal retentive mechanics out there jumping up and down beating their chest pulling their hair out but hey just remember it's not your engine it's mine and I think it worked pretty good. Once I wash this out, drain it all out the bottom, fill up with oil, run it for a little while, change the oil, I think it'll be just fine. I really don't know the extent of the main bearing damage caused by my worn cam lobe. So I don't expect 300,000 miles out of this engine anyways. Finally, got my new cam, stock cam. Came with new lifters, made in Mexico. So it ought to run like crazy. Came with this engine assembly lube. And I put it on every journal and every every journal and every lobe all the way up to here and put it that far in. Now I lubed up to here and I'm gonna put it a little further in. loop up the rest of it and put it the rest of the way in basically I just squirted it out of the bottle onto the lobes and the journals just kind of smearing it around right here where the fuel pump rides these all have plenty of lube on them Put a couple bolts here in the back so I can pick it up and leverage it and slide it the rest of the way in. All right, the cam's in, and I want the little lineup pin around uh, what I'm going to call the three o'clock position because the timing mark right here on the bottom of my pulley needs to point straight down at the timing mark on the crankshaft and it looks to me like the three o'clock position is where that little pin is going to be. So we're going to try and get the timing chain on. Looks like it's about right. I'm gonna have to turn the 
camshaft just a little bit clockwise. Let's see if that's enough. It's close. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm going to have to put the phone down to finish it up. All right, I've got it on the camshaft. The timing marks are lined up. I don't have any bolts in it yet. I just got it on. But that's step number two, putting the bolts in. I put a decent drop of Loctite on each of the cam bolts, put them in, tighten them up. The next thing I'm gonna do is completely cover these lifters in this assembly lube. Then I'm gonna drop them one at a time down in the hole. this side up, this side down. Alright, all the lifters are well lubricated and in the hole. I'm gonna put a squirt in the top of each lifter. The next thing I'm going to do is install the push rod one at a time back in the hole that they go in. I cleaned them up with a little Scotch-Brite. Made sure they were straight and they were clear all the way through. Get a little lube on them here and there. Lubricate this washer. I scotch brighted it, cleaned it up a little bit. All right. Now I can climb onto the car and find that nut and put it on finger tight. Now the nut has a flat side and a round side. The flat side goes down against the washer. The top side is like, uh, has some little uh, pings in it that catch the threads and kind of lock it into position. Okay, at this point, I've got all my push rods in, my rocker arms in, my pivot washer's in, my nuts on, everything's lubricated well. Now, using brake clean or some kind of degreaser, you need to clean this whole gasket face right here all the way around for the timing cover. Then, I want to put the engine lube all over this chain in these gears right here before I put the cover on. All right, I've cleaned the gasket surface, lubed up my chain a little bit. I put some gasket sealant 
all the way around the outside where the cover goes. I put the gasket on. It can only go on one way, really. I cleaned the inside of the cover, put some gasket sealant on the cover. This is the gasket sealant that I'm using, Max Flex Gasket Maker, 97037, I think it is, Permatex, good stuff. Now I'm going to put the cover on, put the bolts in, and torque them to 8 foot-pounds. Alright, the timing cover is on and the bolts are torqued to 8 foot-pounds or 96 inch-pounds. Now we're going to put on the harmonic balancer. All right, so I slipped the harmonic balancer on and I was able to feel where the key was to go in the keyway. The balancer went on just a little bit. I took my bolt with my washer, I put a little anisease on it, and I want to run this harmonic balancer up onto the crankshaft just by spinning the nut. That's enough pressure to suck it right up on there. When I bought this 1981 Corvette, it had 40,000 original miles on it. It had a new paint job and new carpet. But other than that, everything was original. So this, while I'm in here changing out this cam and lifters, um, I bought a new fuel pump, I bought a new water pump, I already replaced the power steering unit. I got new valve covers coming, new intake manifold, new carburetor, all this stuff I'm doing to it while I'm working on it. Because, hey, why not? It's all apart, right? 